friends, I'm so excited for today. Hi, hello. First of all, I have some splaining to do, okay? I have some apologizing to do. Welcome to the first video of the week. And it's Thursday, obviously, as you can tell, I haven't posted any videos this week. And um, um, usually when I when I do these uh, nail polish reveal videos, it's always the extra video of the week. So whenever I post these, you normally get like four videos that week instead of three. And here we are at one. <laughs> oh, I know, I'm mad at myself as well. I know. So I just quickly wanted to say I'm so sorry. I know you guys don't want to hear me apologize a million times and I sound like a broken record, but this week was so intense for me. These past two weeks have been really, really intense for me. Trying to get everything in order to launch this new collection has been so insane under the circumstances. I have been on phone calls and Zoom calls non-stop. I honestly, I honestly haven't had a chance to sit down and film a video because I've been trying to make this launch perfect for you guys. You already know this collection was extremely delayed due to the virus and social distancing and all of the precautions we had to take in order to launch this. It really has been quite the struggle. The most we've struggled to put a campaign together ever. And it just took up so much more of my time than I'm used to. And honestly, thank God for my team. They have really pulled this campaign together. And I'm just so proud of this collection. We originally had a completely different idea. I mean, same colors. It has always been a nude collection, but we had a completely different idea. Usually I'm in all the photo shoots for each collection, but we had to completely change it. It really has been quite the journey, but we are finally here. I have been anticipating the launch of this nude collection for months. I am just so overwhelmed. I'm so excited that you can finally get your hands on it. And I'm here to talk about it with you guys, here to show you some swatches, talk about the shades. I honestly love filming these videos as like an extra video of the week for you guys. So again, I'm so sorry that you're literally getting one video this week and it's like the extra video. So it's basically like you got no videos this week at all. And that always brings my stress level like extra high. I can disappear off Twitter and Instagram forever and it won't bother me, but when I don't post on YouTube, <gasps> I get hives, I get rat chains. But I'm here, hi, and next week we'll be back to normal. Let's talk about the nude collection. So let me introduce you to our new YNBB nail polish collection, which YNBB stands for your nails but better, your nudes but better, whatever you want it to stand for, but it's your nail, your nails but better. We came up with that idea when we were thinking about doing nudes because as you know, I'm a beauty vlogger and I tie everything to makeup and whenever you find your perfect nude lipstick, you know, you, you always say it's like your lips but better. These are like your nails but better. And I think you guys are gonna freaking love these nudes so much, I can't wait for you guys to get them in the mail. Look at this little ting. This of course is our PR box and we wanted to go a more minimalistic route. For winter we had this like really giant PR box and we wanted to tone it down for spring and kind of give you like a nude color wheel. And I just think it's so cute. You can't tell but it says your nails but better like written here in this like rainbowy barely there sticker. I'm not sure if it's even coming up on camera. I don't think you can see it. But anyway, this is the PR box. I know it's not that important but just wanted to share it with you. We also made the most adorable freaking booklet for the PR box like just in case anybody wanted to talk about the shades when they got it in the mail. Look at this booklet. Natalia freaking killed it. Look at this. <gasps> this is so beautiful. You have all the polishes on one side and then like the descriptions of each shade on the other. I Adorable. So anyway, without further ado, I'd like you to meet your new favorite gals. These are your new favorite nudes. And by the way, I want to mention, if you finish watching this video and you're like, you know what? Those undertones, those nudes, they're not for me. Well, guess what? I'm working on so much more. I am working on more YNBBs as we speak, and I won't be launching like a full on collection like I did this time for spring. I kind of want to bring out nudes every so often, like in between collections, because you can never have too many nudes, right? That's what I think. Nudes are everything, and there's just so many different undertones. The possibilities are endless. So I'm currently working on some more as we speak in the lab. So just wanted to put that out there in case you weren't feeling any of these news. I got you, I'm working on more. So as you guys know, I always include a name in every single collection. Like I always have to have a girl's name in one of the polishes with every launch I do. But then as I was creating these nudes, I was like, well, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna name them after like desserts, things that look nude? How should I name them? But then I thought, wait, how is that gonna work? Because I have to, I have, to have a name in there. My brain will not allow me to not have a name in there. I don't wanna self-diagnose myself or anything, but 
That, that's gotta be a thing, okay? That, that can't be normal. But then I thought to myself, oh my gosh, wouldn't it be perfect if I just named them all after girls? Since technically, you know, these are their nails but better and I thought we can give them personas and it can be like a whole thing. So that is why each one of these polishes have a person's name and not just one of them. But I thought it would be nice. It's something I've never done before. And I decided to name these polishes after important girls in my life. Just special little mommies in my life even though I don't know Matilda. I love her. Also, when oh, I swear I'm gonna get into the colors. Give me, give, you know I talk a lot. But also it was funny, when I was naming these polishes, I wanted all of the names to end in A because there's something about a name that ends in A that is just sounds so romantic to me. Emma, Mila. I love names that end in A and I wanted all of them to end in A. Okay, let's begin. I feel like if you've never bought a full nail polish collection before, this is the one to buy the whole collection for. You just can't go wrong with nudes. There's always an occasion where you can wear nudes. And I really love that certain, well, I mean, I don't love that certain jobs don't allow you to wear bright colors. That's so weird. But I know that there's a lot of you out there who can't wear bold colors, brights, or glitters, or things like that because of your profession. And I feel like this collection is right up your alley. This is perfect for you. I'm gonna go from like, lightest to darkest and the first shade is actually my favorite this is the best shade in the collection this one is called Mila and I personally would consider this my perfect nude polish it's like my favorite type of nude because it's very very light it's not gonna be a nude that just blends into my skin tone it's really gonna pop and just make my nails stand out I love these types of creams and I personally prefer them when they lean a little bit more cool toned than when they lean too yellow but of course that's just my personal preference it doesn't mean that I'm not gonna create nudes like that in the future because of of course I do want to please everyone and I want to bring all sorts of nudes to the table but I personally love a good creamy color like this that's nice light and bright and that has a nice cool undertone this color is so delicious so freaking delicious I'm obsessed and you guys know I always show you swatches that my mom takes outside and with this collection especially it was so difficult to really capture the true color of each shade because you guys know every time you take a picture of your nail polish it looks different in different lighting so I really wanted to show it to you in all types of lighting and all the pictures that my mom took of these shades were taken outside under the sun so just keep that in mind this color obviously looks a little bit warmer in natural lighting than it does like in studio lighting but it's so good it's so creamy so opaque by the way all of these shades look absolutely beautiful in two coats you don't need more than two coats with any of these and there are a couple shades here that actually look perfect on one coat you don't even need a second one but in my humble opinion if you can only get one polish out of the entire collection Mila is the one. Also, also, you might have noticed my swatches. Okay, here's the thing. When I did my winter reveal video of the nail polishes, I told you guys I wanted to work on the way that I'm swatching these for you because I'm really bad. It's not so much that I'm bad at doing my nails because I feel like I'm really good at doing my own nails at this point. I've been doing them for so long. But when it comes to filming it, oh my gosh, I suck. I feel like my angle was not the best in these swatches, but I wanted to swatch my own nails this time because I feel like it's a little bit more helpful. What do you guys think? I mean, please ignore the fact that this finger, I had to file it down to the bone because I broke it opening up a box. So ignore my stubby little middle finger. But I just thought that swatching it on my actual nail was a little bit more helpful, especially so you can see how amazing that brush, this brush is. I don't even have to clean up my nail polish when I use these nudes, guys. Maybe for Olivia and Mila, because it's like the darkest one and this is the lightest one, so it's a little bit difficult to get like a perfect application, but honestly, it can be done. This brush was truly made for nudes. You get the most beautiful, even, opaque application with this paddle brush, and it's just life-changing, okay? I just wanna scream it from the rooftops. I love this collection so much. I feel like I haven't been this excited for a collection in a really long time, but okay. Um, let me know if you guys like the way that I'm swatching them. I feel like I didn't do a very good job. I'm gonna try better next time. I might hire somebody to do that. You know what? I think I'm gonna do that. I feel like me swatching them isn't cutting it. If I can probably like contact a really good nail blogger who I can pay to make those swatch videos for me so that I can insert them to this video so you can see like a really good perfect HD swatch from a professional, I think that would be better. I think that would be more helpful. But anyway, uh, bear with me. Hopefully you find my mom's swatch pictures <laughs> helpful and hopefully like my close-ups. I hope this video helps you in some way. Anyway, oh my gosh next color so the next shade is called Matilda and this one would be my perfect nude if I wasn't so Casper at the moment I feel like once I get a really good delicious Cuban summer tan this color is going to be everything on me because right now it kind of blends into my skin tone I mean I wouldn't say it looks like foundation that's another major thing that I was dealing with originally when I first started to create this collection I wanted it to be like skin tones I wanted it to be like 
six different skin tones that you can wear for your nails but when we did our first round they looked like little foundation bottles they looked awful <laughs> like the undertones were like foundations and when we were trying them on putting them on a bunch of different nails and a bunch of different skin tones it honestly looked like your finger just continued it was very bizarre and that's when i realized that nude nail polishes should not look like nude foundations or foundations <laughs> should not having that like slightly orange or slightly cool slightly gray slightly pink having those undertones really makes a difference and just makes the polish look so much nicer this color is literally the color of sand this is like a beautiful beach in Greece this is what I picture the sand to look like it's a very beautiful light 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 tan and it's perfect for those of you with very 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 light skin tones or medium on honestly I feel like anybody would love this nude it's just so pretty it's definitely in my top three love it okay but this is my second favorite <laughs> so i love the three lightest nudes the most because i just like light nudes but guys lila is life lila is everything i almost love it as much as mila almost so i would say this shade is like a traditional nude tan but it has a very very slight pink undertone that just makes this polish look so beautiful you know what it reminds me of okay you guys know zoe was like one of our top sellers i'm bringing zoe back of course with caramelo of course not at the same time anyway this color is zoe's nude sister zoe was purple i know but if she had a nude sister it would be lila it is the most beautiful most unique tannish nude in the world that looks so freaking beautiful i love this shade so much it lives on my toes this one and aliana oddly enough because aliana is a bit deep i love wearing lila and aliana on my toes they like do not get off my toes this is just your perfect one and done nail polish this is a color that you can wear just on one coat you can wear matilda on one coat as well but this looks beautiful on one coat and this is the type of color that you really don't even have to try with you can put this on with your eyes closed i promise you you will not mess up when you apply Lila. It's the easiest color to put on. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if it's the undertone, but it is the quickest polish ever. You will do your manicure in five seconds. It's it's honestly incredible. It's one of those colors that looks totally different depending on who's wearing it. Oh, it's the shade I'm wearing right now. I am wearing Lila. And when I'm outside, it looks a lot more pink. And then inside, it looks a lot more like tan brown. It's so epic next up we have emma this is the shade that we got the most comments on saying like oh my gosh my name is emma i can't wait to buy that oh my gosh my daughter's name is emma i can't wait to buy that which makes me so happy i love seeing you guys get excited when a polish is named after you and i love emma so this shade is another like mid-tone shade similar to lila but the undertone is completely different this has a very warm undertone i wouldn't say it's like an orange undertone but it's definitely not cool toned at all it almost looks like caramel when you're wearing it on your nails like classic caramel it's such a pretty creamy peanut buttery brownie nude i love it it's so so beautiful if you guys were familiar with peanut butter from kale polish this one isn't as yellow this one is a little bit more nude and i personally think it's a little bit more flattering so i love emma she's a good one and i love that she's a little adventure sagittarius gal by the way if you guys don't follow us on light slacker on instagram you totally should we've made the cutest wallpapers to go along with this collection like each girl has her own wallpaper and they are so adorable and each girl has her own playlist so if you don't follow light slacker on spotify you have to. We have the best playlists on the Light Slacker Spotify. You need to follow us. Emma listens to road trip jams. She's a traveler. Okay, next up we have Aliana, which is my fourth favorite in the collection. This color is so freaking unique. So unique. I don't know any other polish that really reminds me of this or that I can think of that looks like this. It's a very cool toned, like chocolate mousse kind of shade. It's so freaking beautiful like i said earlier i wear this on my toes all the time and this is actually the color that i've worn the most on my nails i just gravitate to it so much i don't know why the undertone is just so unique and pretty i really really love this shade i'm also curious to know if anybody in the comments is named aliana in the way that this is spelled a-l-y-a-n-n-a -N -N -A, because i think i read like two comments on the aliana picture from people that are like oh my god that's my daughter's name but i spell it with an i instead of a y or oh my god that's my name but it's spelled with one n instead of two i'm very curious if there's any alianas out there that's spelled like this. This shade is gorgeous and it just looks so yummy and different. I love this. If you're into browns, I think you would love this because it's a very 
very unique brown. And then last but not least, we have the Coffee Lover, Olivia. This is literally the color of like coffee beans, like deep, deep, rich coffee beans. When you do one coat, it does look a lot warmer. Like you really see that reddish undertone, but then it gets very, very deep and rich when you do two coats. I also feel like this color will surprise you, even if you're not into very, very, very deep browns. This color is so rich and beautiful and vampy. I'm obsessed with this shade. And I know it's like the perfect color to wear in the fall and winter, but in my opinion, it's such a staple shade that I would wear this year round. I love browns and I love nudes and I really, really love creamy shades. So even if you're not a dark fan, just check out Olivia. She's so beau. She drinks a lot of coffee and she's a Gemini. But anyway, guys. That's it. These are the six colors we just launched today on lightslacquer.com. You can get your hands on these right now if you want to. Also, we finally have afterpay on lightslacquer.com. So if you wanted to buy the bundle but you were a little bit hesitant because that is six polish, that's a lot, maybe you'd want to check out afterpay. I just wanted to mention that in case any of you guys didn't know. We have afterpay now, which is amazing. Oh my gosh, wait, before I end this video, I have to show you guys the new boxes. We have new boxes, guys. Well, we also have these cute new little poly mailers. Look how adorable they're little nails. But I wanted to show you our little boxes that our polishes come in now. And I'm so proud of them, guys. I'm so proud of them. And Natalia did such a good job on designing these. Look at this. Look at this. I felt like when my customers were receiving their polish that it was missing something. It was missing like that little little luxury touch. So we invested in these really beautiful soft touch boxes that your polishes are gonna come in now when you buy them individually. And it's awesome because it also adds like an extra layer of protection, but it also makes the polish look so beautiful. I love the detail on these boxes. Like the fact that you can see this little polish through the window in the front and the little window is our little nail designs, but cut out. Oh guys, I'm obsessed. I could stare at this all freaking day. I can't wait for you guys to see all the cool stuff we are working on at Light Slacker. I really wanna bring it to this brand, okay? I'm, I'm ready to bring it. Just wait till you see all the stuff I'm working on. Just wait. Also PS, top and base coat on its way my friends on its way i am just so excited and i'm all over the place and i'm so anxious for today obviously i'm filming this the day before so i don't know how the launch is going but i am so nervous i have so many feelings about this launch i haven't been this excited about a collection in a really long time and i hope that you guys really really love it and i can't wait to bring out more nudes for you i cannot wait for the future and also if you're a person who's not really into nudes if you're a bold bright kind of gal I got you for summer. I so got you for summer. But anyway guys, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much, not only for watching my videos, but for supporting my business. It honestly means the world to me, especially during this time when I know things are really, really crazy. Just thank you guys for being so kind and supportive and always leaving like the most positive comments on my nail polish pictures, discussing the shades, just interacting with us. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. We love getting feedback from you guys and you guys are always just so positive and amazing. My team loves you guys. It Thank you so much for everything that you do. I hope you like this collection because I freaking love it. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I have to keep prepping for this launch tomorrow. But I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.